Before 2002, I had paid three visits to Shehalian, but had always started and finished at the Braes of Foch car park. On this occasion, I had arranged with Neil and Jim in a telephone call the previous evening to meet up at the Braes of Foss and to leave one of our cars at the far end by the Temper Burn, which would enable a traverse of the mountain from east to west. This is something that none of us had done before. At this stage, in November 2002, although the John Muir Trust had taken over the land three years previously, they had not yet undertaken the upgrade and realignment of the path. Heated and eroded, the path had been firmed up by the frost. Chehalion is well known for its association with the experiments of the scientist Neil Maskeline in 1774, who used the relatively uniform geometry of the mountain as a basis for estimating the mass of the Earth, measuring the gravitational deflection of a plumb line caused by the mass of the mountain as the basis for his calculations. We came across a group of five ptarmigan, white in their winter plumage, well camouflaged amongst the snow-covered rocks. It is always a delight to encounter these hardy mountain birds. There are a number of stone shelters on the summit ridge and several false tops to pass over before it narrows to the highest point of Jehalion. The gathering at the summit. We decided to take our lunch break just west of the summit as it was more sheltered from the wind there. The views were extensive, Dramokhta, Ben Aglo, Glen Shee, the Ishans, Glen Coe and Ben Alder. The sun was strong, albeit that there were extensive banks of cloud both to the south and to the north. I still get the same the same style of paycheck as well, you know. The rocky slopes on the initial section of our descent west still required full concentration, and the scattering of compacted snowbeds were best avoided, as they would have caused a slip without crampons. out lower down the hillside and then we were on slopes covered in heather until eventually we met the track coming over through Glen Moor from Fortingall in Glen Lyon to Glen Tummel. Yes, down for high tea. <laughs> <laughs> 